The Australian energy market operator runs a hugely successful three-year graduate development program. It's a program that's designed to empower our graduates to really achieve what they want to achieve in the dynamic energy sector. The 2018 program has kicked off and with me today to talk about the exciting life of a graduate at AEMO are Jake Dunstan, Rhys Albanese and Taru Vialainen. Well, I was studying economics at the time and I was just stumbled across the graduate development program. Um, started researching and the more I looked, the more I just wanted to apply and you know, the rest is history. I'd done a double degree in electrical engineering and commerce and I thought that uh, AMO would have, would give me a really good opportunity to uh, use both those degrees in the one place and that's one of the great aspects of the graduate program in that you get four nine month rotations. So I studied a combined science and um, engineering degree. Uh, my engineering degree was in renewable energy engineering and I really wanted to see the big picture about how we can actually integrate large scale renewables onto our network. So I've worked in the operational forecasting team, so they uh, predict short-term demand uh, so that we can ensure that there's enough uh, generation online to meet the needs of the end consumer. I've worked at the energy forecasting team where we're forecasting long-term trends in gas electricity and the market insights team where we're looking more day-to-day -day operations and the changing dynamics of the NEM. So I've worked in our operations planning team and that team looks at the next um, one to seven days and looks at any outages that are coming up and how they're actually going to impact the network. Um, so we actually apply constraints and once those constraints are applied then it actually changes the way that the network would otherwise flow. My main surprise has just been how large the energy industry is. There's so many different facets of the industry, um, from retailers to distribution businesses, transmission businesses, and then even the whole um, side of the market has been really interesting to see. Just how exciting and fast-paced the industry has become. Um, there's been a lot of technological advancements, not just from the generation side, but from the consumer side as well. It's the complexity of the gas electricity markets. It's something we take for granted, but you know, being able to see behind the veil, uh, it's really refreshing to see the amount of work that goes in behind the scenes. I think I most enjoyed the work. Um, it's refreshing, it's been good to get my hands dirty. Definitely the work. So I've, um, I've been really fortunate to, get, um, to work on some really amazing projects. My current project that I work on is looking at the scenario of 100% solar in South Australia and we actually have to look at some of the technical challenges that having domestic scale PV, how that interacts in, as it's going back up the chain from the traditional grid where it flows down. Just how exciting and fast paced the industry has become not just on the technological advancements on the generation side, but the consumers becoming more involved in their energy use as well. And one example of this is just the 100 megawatt battery we've got in South Australia. I don't think when I started two years ago that people were really talking about grid scale batteries, and now we've got the biggest one in the world right on our back doorstep. I studied a degree in commerce, so the energy industry wasn't really on my radar, but after two years, I wouldn't have it any other way. So it's a really exciting time in the energy industry at the moment and there's a lot of opportunities. So if you're innovative and can embrace change, I definitely recommend you get involved. And if you're interested in joining an industry that's going through a huge transformational change and you want to provide some innovative ideas, then the energy sector is for you.